Hello, my name is Madeline Eckel and I'm a senior at New Hanover High School. This week, I'm doing the Friday Devotional. So, as you know, today is Good Friday. Today is the day we remember, pray, and reflect on the crucifixion of Jesus. Let us begin with prayer. Dear God, we pray to you in heaven up above to thank you. To thank you and remember all the pain and suffering on the cross and all Jesus was willing to do to set us free. May you help us to remember and to trust and to love as Jesus has given us the gift of eternal life. May you help us always remember and never take this huge gift for granted. Lord, thank you for the many gifts you have given to each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First of all, I want to thank you all for joining me here today. I'm going to begin with a verse. John 3, 16-17 from the New International Version reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. So what is so good about the Friday Jesus sacrificed his life for us? Well, the simple answer is everything. Because of his sacrifice on the first Good Friday, we were given the gift of forgiveness and grace. Can you imagine the pain and suffering that Jesus felt in his last few hours on this earth? Can you put yourself in the shoes of his loved ones who have watched him suffer? We all have moments where we begin to feel as the world is far too much to handle. Right now, the unknown creates so much fear in each of us. COVID-19 has changed all of our lives. Every day we wake up wondering when this new reality we're in will go back to the old reality. It's so easy to trust God on the good days, on the beautiful days with friends and family to see all God has given us. Well, why is it so hard to trust him now? When someone is struggling, people always say, God has a plan. But why is it so hard to see right now? God has never given up on me or any of you. Therefore, why doubt? Because we're human. As a human, we want to be in control, but that isn't what God gave us. Therefore, it is important to remember he is there every step of the way. Here's a poem I once heard called Footprints. One night I dreamed a dream. I was walking along the beach with my Lord. Across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to my Lord. When the last scene in my life shot before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. There was only one set of footprints. I realized that in the lowest and saddest times of my life, this always bothered me and I questioned the Lord about my dilemma. Lord, you told me when I decided to follow you, you would walk and talk with me all the way. But I'm aware during my most troublesome times in my life, there's only one set of footprints. I just don't understand why, when I need you most, you leave me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you and will never leave you, never ever during your trials and testings. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. The end. Through times of struggle, it's important to reflect on the gifts given by God, one being the crucifixion of Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for each and every one of us. But the story doesn't end with him on the cross. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Easter Sunday, Jesus was resurrected. Jesus rose from the dead. We have been given the gift of eternal life, of love, of forgiveness, of grace. It is important to remember God is there always. I hope each and every one of you can leave here today remembering all God has given us, to remember there is always a plan, and to remember to trust him with all your heart. Let us pray. Holy and everlasting God, let us give you thanks, for you are good. Help us see the light you are shining on upon us as we are far too distracted. Lord, thank you for sending your son to us. Let us praise him and thank him with our whole hearts. 
Lord, help us forgive our sins and lead us on our walk. Let us love and thank you for the gift of eternal life. Lord, we need you. We need you now and forever. In times of fear, help us. Help us serve as your hands and feet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.